Hello everyone, I am Siasaur, I'm an artist and Twitch streamer and I wanted to show you guys how to set up your own VTube Studio little TTS mascot. So basically using a fully rigged model from VTube Studio and make it interact with your text-to-speech on stream. So let's get started with VTube Studio. So first of all, what you want to do is import your model into VTube Studio and basically set up the tracking the way you'd like it. Mine's already done, but basically how you do this is you go in the cogwheel, you go in this little icon up there and you uh, set up all of your uh, parameters so they track the way you'd like it. With this little guy, that little dragon, his name is Bloodwing. I, I made like very basic things. And as you can see, it's tracking both of my fox and my dragon right now. My own model as V Bridger but I really don't think it's necessary for the TTS because it's not going to be tracking your mouth. It's just going to be tracking sound. All right. So next thing we want to do is make an idle animation for your little character. I personally like my character to have a little life into it. So let's settle that animation. So what you want to go is go into webcam up here and you're going to go all the way to the bottom. I was already there. I'm going to hide myself real quick so you can see. You want to set up this slider to 60 seconds. You're going to start recording just yourself, like moving around. Don't don't talk or anything. You don't have to move your mouth. Just like move around basic movements of just an idle animation, basically. So let's start. All right, so once that is done, you're gonna have this window pop up. So that's basically um, your animations with every single parameters that is affected. You can smooth them up or you can leave, it, leave them as is. Basic parameters are gonna be like slightly smoothed. Uh, I think that's fine, but you can edit them the way you want. So this is the kind of idle animation we got for this little guy. It's just gonna be moving around, doing his things. All right, so once that's done, you want to give your animation a name. I'm going to call mine Dragon Idol. And I'm going to click on OK. And there it is. Your Dragon Idol motion is saved. So next thing you want to do is go back into your settings, the parameters, this one, this tab. And you're going to go into Idol Animations. Right now, there's nothing. So you want to load in your Dragon Idol. Select, and here you go. And you're gonna notice it's not doing anything. It is still tra tracking me. So now what we're gonna do is make sure, first of all, make sure you have a backup file of your setup rig in the VTube Studio, just in case something happens, you know, you never know. Uh, make sure you backup those files and then you're gonna go all the way down here and you see all those parameters. We're gonna delete all of them. But make sure you do not delete the mouth one because we're going to set those up later. So mouth smile, mouth open, don't delete those. The rest, you can delete. And here you go. Right now, uh, it's tracking my mouth, obviously, but the rest of the body is not tracking me. This is our idol animation doing its thing. All right, so now that we remove all the parameters, there's one thing I want to do before we switch to VTS Pog. We're going to go back into the mouth smile and the mouth open, and we're going to remove the input entirely. Don't worry. We're going to come back to it. We're just going to replace it with something else. All right. So now that this is done, what we want to do is get the new input we're going to put so it communicates with whatever TTS program you're using. Uh, in our scenario, we're going to be using VTS Pog. It's a super cheap program that is available and their Discord support is super quick. So I really like them. There are many other programs that are going to be able to do similar things. But for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to focus on VTS Pog. Well, let's begin. So uh, in VTS Pog, the first thing you want to do is go into VTube Studio over here. It's going to give you this window. We want What we want to do is get those custom parameters to be used for your map tracking instead of your camera. In order to do that, you need to make your VTS Pog communicate with your VTube Studio via its port. So to know what port number you have, you're going to go back in VTube Studio. You're going to go into the little cogwheel over here. Uh, oops, and we're going to scroll down to VTube Studio Start API, this window over here. You're going to see here, there's a number in your port. Mine is 8002 because that's the number that I have. So go back in VTS Pog 
I'm gonna put 8002 and we're gonna hit connect and now you're gonna be well it's not working it's because you got to go back into VTube studio and it's gonna ask you for permission for this plugin to access your VTube studio you're gonna allow it all right so now that it is connected if you want to make sure that's in there you can go into your plugin to configure and you should be able to see VTS bug over here I have many but VTS bug is over there. It is active. Let's go back into uh, VTS bug. As you can see now, the VTS light is green. That means we're good to go. So now once that is done, what we want to do is we want to go back into VTube Studio. You're going to go back into your parameters window, the one with the mouth. As you can see, we don't have any inputs. So for mouth form, you're going to click on input, just write voice. And you're going to see a couple of them. But what do you want to see? is the one with VTS pogs underneath. So those are the custom plugins. There's a couple of them, but we're just going to use two. For the mouth smile, we want to use voice frequency two. Do not use this one. This one is the base YouTube studio one. It's not going to work with VTS pog. So mouth smile, voice frequency two. And now in mouth open, we want to search for voice again, go into the VTS pog ones, and we're going to use voice volume two. Here again, the two is important because that's the custom one. So once that is set up, mouth smile, frequency two, mouth open, volume two, we're going to go back into VTS fog. And now we're going to go into settings. Here in settings, we're basically going to test to see if our VTube Studio and VTS pods are communicating together properly and if the mouth is also set up properly. So we're going to send a message to our pet. Mine is going to say, I'm a little dragon TTS and I'm cute, but you can make it say anything. This is just a test. So let's get to it. I'm a little dragon TTS and I'm cute. And here you go. You can see that your VTS pog and your VTube studio are communicating together and that your mouth tracker, quote unquote, is set up to follow the TTS and not your camera. All right. So now that your VTS pog and your VTube studio are communicating properly and the mouth is set up, we want to make it make the VTS bug basically communicate with whatever bot or system you're using for your TTS. Uh, I personally put stream element here because that's what I use for my stream alert. I don't know most of them, but for stream elements, this is what I use. It's very simple setup. So we're going to use that. All right, we're back. And now we're going to talk about how to set up your VTS bug to communicate properly with your stream elements via overlays. So basically your model knows to react to your TTS for when somebody follows, when somebody subs, when somebody raids, whatever you want. So you want to go back into VTS bug and this time I'm going to scroll down a little bit in tools. We're going to go into stream element overlays. There's going to be a clickable sentence to set up VTS bug custom widget fruit stream element overlays. I'm going to click on it. It is going to bring you to this page. First thing you want to do is you want to download the VTS Pog stream element widget click here to download so you're going to click on that so you should end up with this little file over here stream element widget and it has three text files in it uh it's goes basically going to be gibberish for most people but this is essentially code that you're going to put in your custom widget on stream elements to make it work so back on stream elements you want to go into overlays streaming tool overlays over here and you're going to create a new overlay 1080p is my resolution for streaming. So we're going to go with that. And there you go. You're on a new overlay. Make sure to give it a name. So we're going to call it tutorial TVTS bug. Uh, but you can call it whatever you want, really. And we're going to add a widget. You want to go into static slash custom and custom widget over here. So now what you want to do is you want to go into open editor. What you need to look at is HTML, CCS, GS, all of those, because in your download, you got a data, a fields and a GS, which are going to correspond to data, fields and GS. So essentially what you want to do is, let's say data, control A to select everything, then control C to copy, go back into use stream elements. We're going to start with data. You're going to control A then remove it and then control V to paste basically what was in this full, in this document. And then you're done with data. Let's switch to field. We're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to select field 
this time. Open it. Control A to select everything. Control C to copy. Go back over here. Control A to select everything. Remove the old one. Control V to paste the new one. And now we only have one left, which is GS. So you're going to go back to GS text file. Open. Control A, Control C. Go back here. Control A, remove. Control V. And here you go. That is done. So now you can click on done. That is hidden by me. And now your settings over there should reflect uh, the, the code that we basically put in. So let's get over it together. All right. So for the sake of this tutorial, I went ahead and loaded my own uh, TTS mascot overlay to show you guys what it does once it's set up. So you're going to go into your settings over here. And let's say you want your mascot to say something whenever somebody's following. So you're going to go into TTS follow. You're going to say like, yes. Uh, I do not send message to AI because it tends to not make it work for me. I'm not sure exactly what that does. Enlighten me in the comments. And basically your follow message is going to be like, thank you for the follow username. You can put whatever you want for this. Uh, it doesn't really matter. And then you're going to go ahead and you're going to emulate a follower event to see if your character is reacting to it. Thank you for the follow, Minda. And here you go. Your character is reacting to your stream element uh, alert. So you can set up to host, even though host doesn't technically exist anymore on Twitch. Uh, you can set it to raid messages, resub, sub, gift subs, uh, tips, and even cheers. So choose whatever you want. Explore the parameters. They're pretty straightforward, pretty easy to understand. Next, we're going to set up Tenja. All right, so next we want to set up TTS for Tanja, which is actually a lot easier than setting up on Stream Element. I personally use both, so you choose what you want to do. But for that, you're going to go into the Tanja website. You're going to click on Settings. Next, we're going to go in the Settings in this tab. We're going to click on TTS. And then over here, you should see if you little guy's butt wouldn't be in the way you should see use a vts fog so you want to make sure that this is checked in so uh it connects to your vts fog basically so now we're going to go back into we're going to go actually into interactions because we want to test if it works so let's bring back our little guy boop and i'm going to move him a little bit actually so you see better there you go over there thank you so just go into better TTS category just for the sake of testing. We're going to put Uwu. Let's test with the Uwu TTS. Uh, find your TTS. Make sure it's activated. Then you click on test interaction. Yes. Give it a moment. Here you go. Now it should be working. <laughs> My bad. OB Make sure that on OBS you have both your stream elements and Tenja overlays set up as a browser source. I should probably specify that or else it's not going to do anything. Now we can try testing again. This is a sample of what my voice sounds like. I am not real. Are you real? Nya, nya. It's working all right. <laughs> so here you go. Setting up Tenja with your mascot is actually that easy. Uh, it should be interested in interacting properly with all of your Tanja TTS and also all of your stream element alerts if you set that up. So here you go. All right. So that's it for this tutorial. I would like to make another video uh, next time to show how I make it slide in and out when a TTS is enabled. So you could, if you want, just leave it on your overlay and just have like, your little character chill out in the corner over here and whenever a TTS happens it just talks otherwise it's just chilling there that's fine too uh, I personally wanted it to slide in and out whenever there's a TTS happening so when there's none it's out away and when it starts having alerts and everything it just slides back in so in the next tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to make that happen with a couple of plugins for OBS <laughs>